The F-15 has served for decades as the backbone for the U.S. Air Force's air dominance and will be a key multi-role fighter for the U.S. Air Force through 2040. Ever-changing threats demand the modernization of this platform's electronic warfare technology. The Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, or EPAWS, is on the cutting edge of fighter aviation. Unsurpassed in its exploitation of the electromagnetic spectrum, the system, with proven advanced defensive and offensive technologies, is designed to protect F-15C and F-15E variants. It offers fully integrated radar warning, geolocation, situational awareness, and self-protection to detect and defeat advanced threats in dense signal and highly contested environments. The system enables deeper penetration and protection against modern integrated air defenses and replaces the current F-15 Tactical Electronic Warfare Suite, or TUES, fielded since the 1980s. EPAWS, an integrated all-digital system, requires a smaller footprint and provides new and enhanced capabilities including 50% more chaff and flares than aircraft today. The system is an executable, high-performance, high-reliability, low-cost, low-risk solution for the lifespan of the platform. EPAWS stands alone in its ability to penetrate against modern integrated air defense systems, allowing it to operate and protect our warfighters in the battlefield of today and tomorrow. BAE Systems, a world leader in EW for more than 60 years, continues to bring innovation to the world skies with this system. This continues our partnership with Boeing to provide the U.S. F-15 fleet with the most advanced aviation capabilities. unveiling ceremony of F-15EX perhaps could be a forward-looking beacon for all of us. Celebrate this incredible platform and the delivery of first two jets to the U.S. Air Force. Seeing the culmination of the work of 55,000 men and women across 500 companies that delivered on their promises, it's, it's very humbling. Uh, and we couldn't do it without them. You should know that this team has put everything into the platform from processing, from power, and from payload. But what we do is also very personal, and so you will feel that in the platform. I may not be serving, but being able to work on somebody so closely that armed forces will use touches on a lot of pride in the country and being able to give back to those who give to us. I think that's a, a great honor. As a liaison engineer, I've worked with a product that has protected the United States. I'm a very competitive person, so air superiority to me means that you're number one and you're never going to be beat. To watch the team here step up and the resilience during the pandemic, when you're still able to accomplish what we've accomplished, all that has a little bit in the book of the F-15 EX. There's a little bit in there. It's a safe bird. It's a reliable bird. It's an American-made product. It's got American hands and American spirit in it. it kind of speaks for itself, you know, undefeated. Uh, one of the things we stand on is just it bringing the light into the darkness. Being one of the people that actually is able to witness seeing when that plane was being put together from the ground up, um, this will always be an experience that I will be grateful for and remember. It's been just a labor of love. 
It really reflects the pride that our team members feel building the Eagle Reborn for the U.S. Air Force. This jet can come off the line and go to the fight day one and is enabled for future open mission systems. This brings incredible capability to the warfighter in a way which no other jet can. When F-15s are in the formation, you feel it, it's different. It's not just what it does technically on the battlefield, but it is a symbol. This F-15EX is building on this awesome legacy. On behalf of the program, a heartfelt thank you from our team members to all our U.S. Air Force colleagues, our customers, our partners, and every time that jet rolls off the flight line and takes to the skies with the sound of freedom, it's not just for the job, it's a mission. This is what we do. You got people's lives in your hands, and every little rivet and bolt, everything that we put together, everybody put that same amount of love in their work. Those are my brothers and sisters that are going to be operating this machine out there. And I take it personal every time. We all do. We all do.